everybody, it's me and Killian, and we are going to take you guys to the stockyards where we go sometimes, right, Killian? Yeah. To get to get food, but today we're just going to show you a, around a bit and take a bit of a food tour of the stockyards mall. And right now we're just waiting for the streetcar, which should be coming hopefully pretty soon. We're just sitting at the streetcar stop waiting. Yeah. There goes Killian jumping up and down. Um, I'm going to show you just the sign up above our head that shows some of the places that are here. So here goes. Let's have a look. What do we got, Killian? Can you see? We've got, it says Subway. What else does it say? Teriyaki Experience. Right, I know. I'm just doing the food places though. Cha Time, which is a bubble tea place. Five guys. And Five Guys. So that's just some of the places that are here. Uh, we are at Tim Hortons. Right, so this is the outside of Tim Hortons. We're actually on St. Clair right now. Next to the Tim Hortons is a Freshie. Right, Killian? Yeah. And so what is a Freshie? A Freshie does like salads and stuff like that. And next to that is a Chipotle. Yum, yum, yum. This is the quietest Chipotle I've ever been in. I don't know how long it's going to stay open for because I feel like there's never anybody in there. Okay, Killian, tell people what this is. This is now Nations. It used to be a top. So as Killian was saying, this used to be a Target and these used to be escalators up and that used to be the Starbucks part of the Target, but it's not anymore. Now it's changed into Nations, which is, I guess, a grocery store? Yeah, it's a grocery store, right Killian? But it's got some other cool stuff, including a big video game place and a play, uh, indoor playground for kids. We're gonna have a look now. they have. This is my all-time favorite salad, the Mexicali salad. What else have they got here? They got a hot table. Right, Killian? Yeah. sort of in the inside part of the stockyards and the great thing about this outdoor mall is that it has lots and lots of parking as you can see there's just parking absolutely everywhere so you'll never lack for parking and we found this little directory here Killian points to the eats so people can see what they've got so let's zoom in on this a bit Alibaba's booster juice bulk barn cha time chipotle which we saw five guys freshy Hero Certified Pizza. Never heard of that, have you? No. Marble Slap Creamery, which is an ice cream place. Pan Express Filthy Phillies, which is cheese steaks. Did you know that? Oh, we should eat there. Yeah. And um, Pita Pit Second Cup, which is a coffee shop. Shoeless Joe's, which is a sports bar. Sunset Grill, which is a breakfast place. Sweet a la mode. I have no idea what that is. Teriyaki is a Japanese food place. Thai Express. I didn't know they had a Thai Express in here. And it's Tim Hortons. So there you go. Okay, let's go have a look around. Yeah. It's not a really nice day, but it's not really a bad day either. This mall is really cold in the winter though, so I think it keeps it keeps the population. It's not that popular of a mall, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because um, 
there's just like no one here usually in the winter. It's super quiet. But as it gets nicer, it gets busier here. Yeah, well, uh, should we uh, get the Philly State for real? I don't know. Not a joke. Not a joke. I don't know. We'll see. So here we are again. We found the Panda Express, which we've never eaten at because we don't tend to eat at Panda Express. There's this little roundabout, and roundabouts are really unusual in Toronto, but there is one at this mall. Uh, on that side is the second cup, and behind is the Cha Chai Bubble Tea Place, and Filthy Phillies, and some sort of pizza place I can see in the distance. Let's keep walking, Killian. There's a Booster Juice, there's a Fogo. On this side, there's a Five Guys, a Pita Pit, a Thai Express, a Teriyaki Experience, and a marble slab creamery, which is an ice cream place. And then there's the Sunset Grill, which is a breakfast place. And we've eaten at exactly none of these places, eh, Killian? We haven't had, we've never eaten at these places. We usually just go to Nations when we're here. Yeah. And once in a while, we've, we've been to Chipotle a couple times, but we never come around this side. Yeah. We're actually getting a nice day after all. The sun is finally coming out, yay. Means no Chipotle. Nah, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Yeah, Killian, no. Killian wanted to have Filthy Phillies cheesesteak, but I think we have to give it a miss this time, Killian. We'll do it next time because we have burgers that we have to make for dinner. And I don't have your EpiPen. Killian has a nut allergy, so when we don't have our EpiPen with us, he can't eat anything. He has to just wait. Yeah, because I was just talking. What I well, we'll come sometime that we can all sit down and actually eat the cheesesteak. I think that would be more enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is our last stop. This is where we're gonna kind of finish it up here. We showed you pretty much everything that you can find to eat. Uh, behind us, honorable mention for the Bulk Barn, which is not really a grocery store or anything like that, but you can get food there. Uh, we didn't stop to grab any meals today, but next time we think we're gonna check out the cheese steaks. What do you think, Killian? Uh, yeah. Sounds good. All right, everyone, thanks so much. And remember to like if you like this video and subscribe. Bye. Bye.